Research on the Noah's Ark from scientific and archaeological aspects have been carried out for more than 200 years, and the biggest findings by Westerners are no more than some wood fragments. But discovering wood materials above the snow line on Mount Ararat has been encouraging enough. Professor Otto Belli, a primary Turkish archaeologist, has been researching on the topic for more than 30 years. He suggests that no trees nor any human settlements have ever been found above 3,500 meters on this mountain. What's more, according to historical record, major construction materials that local people used were cements and stones, while wood was rarely the choice. Therefore, it is believed that wood materials found in the past must have come from the biblical Noah's Ark. Now, the greatest breakthrough of the latest discovery made by the Hong Kong and Turkish expedition team is that the team has successfully entered some wooden spaces on Mount Ararat and made detailed video records. Despite of hostile weather and political situation, the expedition team carried out the latest ARC search for a whole year. And finally, in October 2009, the team successfully entered the wooden structure and made the video recording. During the search, the team entered seven spaces. The first space. This is the first space discovered. It's L-shaped. This is what... Wooden walls can be seen clearly. This space might used to be a chamber. Wooden connections are found, and knocking at the wall makes a sound of wood. Okay. Wood. Yeah, it's wood. The second space. This space is covered by ice. Beneath the ice is wood. There is a wooden beam above, and there are wooden nails on the beam. It is believed to be used for keeping animals. Later, we also found similar beams in other spaces. It's clear that the wooden structure has been covered by ice and volcanic rocks for a very long time. And there is a wooden staircase. Hey, 
经进入咗方舟嘅维系嘅内陆。我见到嘅咧就系、是、一条木嘅楼梯，呢度系条木嘅楼梯，听唔听到？有木声。好，我谂大家再望上去上边，上边见唔见到一条木？呢度一条木。呢度嗱，一条差唔多。The wall is shaped in a concave curve and is slightly tilted. It is about five to six meters high. At the top, there are wooden beams sticking out of the ice. The beams and tenon joints all suggest that this is a man-made structure. Knocking on the floor, the team members can hear the sound of wood, and the hollow sound suggests that there is another floor underneath. This space measured about two meters wide. A small door about one meter high is found in the wall, but the team decides not to break it for safety reasons. The fourth space. The fourth space is like a box. The wall, the ceiling, and the floor are all made of wood, and it's about two meters in height, width, and length. There is a wooden beam with wooden nails on the wall. It is believed that animals were once tied to these nails. There is also some straw and a shelf on the wall. The fifth space. This space is very small and looks like a tunnel. Several wooden staircases are found here.
the sixth space. There are at least more than one wooden ladder, which are believed to be cut out from tree trunks. Standing at the staircase, team members find some cracks on the ceiling, through which they see the extension of the structure. Therefore, it is believed that the wooden structure has more than one floor. In order to avoid damage to the structure, the team decides not to break into the space behind. The seventh space. This space is 5 meters high and about 10 to 12 meters wide. It's curved in shape, and the structure of the wall is similar to the third space. Since it's located in a dangerous position, the team could only peek from the top, and they found three air vents that might have served as windows. According to the Bible, the Noah's Ark is about 150 meters long. These wooden spaces distribute horizontally and are altogether more than 30 meters wide. Therefore, it is highly probable that the remains of Noah's Ark have been found. <laughs>